Periapical granuloma is wrongly termed granuloma and is actually a localized mass of chronic inflamed granulation tissue. While granulation tissue and granuloma are both a product of chronic inflammation, they are entirely different types of inflammatory tissue reactions. Granuloma is a product of cell-mediated immune response, a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction caused by agents like bacteria or fungi for example. On the other hand, granulation tissue is basically the hallmark of tissue repair. Tissue that is formed when the body tries to heal itself. In type 4 hypersensitivity responses, a macrophage engulfs foreign agents, presents it to a CD4 T lymphocyte, and activates the T cell in the process. Activated CD4 T cell further activates more CD4 T cells and macrophages through interleukin 2 and interferon gamma, respectively. Now, these activated macrophages become super active and alert, engulfing more foreign agents and further activate more CD4 T cells by producing cytokines like interleukin-12. It also produces growth factors that stimulate fibrosis. Now this creates a feedback loop with macrophages activating T cells and T cells activating macrophages back and forth which can become never-ending unless the offending agent is removed. The chronic feedback loop and constant activation of the macrophages by interferon gamma causes macrophages to transform into epithelioid cells and also cause fusion of adjacent macrophages to form multinucleate giant cells like Langhans giant cells and foreign body giant cells. So granuloma essentially is a collection of epithelioid cells interspersed with giant cells surrounded by lymphocytes and fibrosis. Periapical granuloma is a mass of reparative granulation tissue which forms as a defensive reaction to microbial infection seeping into the periapex from an overlying infected tooth. The periapical tissue in an attempt to heal reacts by forming granulation tissue, which is basically a loose matrix with numerous small blood vessels and fibroblasts. It also has numerous inflammatory cells which are predominantly lymphocytes interspersed with neutrophils and plasma cells. The lesion is usually asymptomatic but may sometimes cause mild pain while biting or chewing. This pain may be due to the hyperemia and inflammation present at the periapex. The involved tooth is non-vital and does not respond to vitality tests. Periapical granulomas are usually diagnosed during routine radiography. They are radiolucencies which are typically less than 2 cm in diameter or may be bigger occasionally. They may or may not be well circumscribed and are situated closely in association with the affected tooth. However, radiographs are not diagnostic of periapical granulomas as it is difficult to differentiate them from periapical cysts or abscesses or any other periapical lesion showing a unilocular radiolucency. <laughs>